Hey, it's Gary DeHart with Insightful Accountant, and uh, we are filming here at Nashville, Tennessee, ZeroCon 2024. And uh, I've got Murph, William Murph Murphy, sitting here with me. Murph's our, uh, if you don't know him, he's our uh, lead technical editor. We've had about 12 different titles that have shown up on the website, I think, for, uh, for Murph. But he's basically the go-to guy uh, for anything uh, technology-related. And um, so, again, as, as I said, we're here at ZeroCon 2024. And so I've asked Murph just to sit down with us and just share kind of a wrap-up of, of what's, been, uh, what's been announced here, what he's run across here on the show floor and then at the various uh, sessions. So, Murph, thanks. Thanks yep. for taking a few minutes. And, yeah, I know usually I do these with my hat on, but I decided to leave it off because I've been sweating so bad. And so... Uh, <laughs> we anyway, don't like a sweaty Murph. Anyway, uh, yeah, they announced a number of technology-related enhancements, that's what I'll call them, uh, impacting their core accounting product and their payments feature and their payroll. And as well as a few other things, but they also announced some new goals. And one of those is they're gonna to strive to make um, their platform more, get this folks, insightful. Yes, we want everybody to and, be insightful. Hold on, hold on, let me plug it. We want everybody to be insightful. All right, sorry, you go ahead, Murph, you're back. And so uh, they also wanna make it the most powerful accounting platform, the most personalizable, accounting platform, the most integratable accounting platform, and the most mobile accounting platform. So let's spend a few moments talking about uh, some of the enhancements, and the first are the ones to the core accounting functionality. You know, more and more accountants and users now rely on bank feeds for transactional information uh, coming from their checking accounts, their credit cards, even their loans to post uh, their transactions and uh, to also then integrate with their accounting. But the problem has been there's more than 4,500 different banks in the United States alone. And reliable bank feeds have been a miss in almost every accounting platform, not just Xero. So now Xero is changing the game because they've gone from having just really 20 true bank feeds 18 months ago to more than 700 banks linked and uh, then 100 bank data aggregators. And so chances are that if you need to sign up your bank uh, to feed into Xero, you're gonna be able to do that. Plus they're adding more all the time. And yet one of the most exciting things that I heard about is their new PDF bank statement import feature. It allows you to take your monthly bank statement in PDF form, import it, and within 35 seconds, Xero will have automatically extracted the data from that PDF and then posted it so that you can link it and reconcile to your accounting. Now, the next area was payroll that they talked about, and you probably know that when Xero first came to the United States, they decided that they were going to try to offer their own integrated payroll program. But they soon found out that there was so much state-to-state -state variation that that was going to be difficult to do. And they couldn't meet the requirements of users in different states. And so they decided that they would team up and they did team up with Gusto. And one of the new features is they're trying to build an even tighter integration with Gusto so that it seems as though you're not even migrating out of one product and into the other, it just is all seamless. But at the same time, they've also had numerous other payroll app providers uh, join, um, their 
app environment or ecosystem. And so they're trying to also provide the same level of integration for those uh, providers that they provide for Gusto. You can expect to see these kinds of changes within this next quarter or certainly not later than the first quarter of uh, next year. Now, one other area that they mentioned specifically was payments. And um, they have now uh, come to an agreement with Bill, or also Bill.com, that's the way a lot of us old timers know them. And they're building a tighter integration with that, embedding it into the payment functionality of Xero. As far as getting paid, you'll see streamlined invoice templates, including uh, invoicing in the mobile app that permits uh, those invoices to be sent to a client by SMA or text messaging, and then to have a payment functionality that is uh, gonna work with Google Pay and Apple Pay so that you get your invoice right in your phone and you just pay it with your uh, Apple Pay, for example, if you're using an iPhone. And also for zero mobile users, uh, there's a new tap and pay option using Stripe. So uh, you generate an invoice and your client, if you're on scene, can just tap their card and it's paid. Yesterday, they announced uh, that their new Inventory Plus feature went live, and uh, it had been in beta, but now it's available. And uh, it expands the inventory options, giving users e-commerce integration uh, into sales, and also tracking uh, inventory across all the sales channels that you connect to it. This feature also includes sales tax support that is uh, as a result of a partnership with Avalara, and that's directly integrated. And then um, speaking of tax, they're also enhancing their W-9 importability and 1099 reporting. Uh, and you should see that before year end. You can read more about uh, the new Inventory Plus uh, in today's headlines. And we have an upcoming webinar. Uh, and uh, that App Academy uh, will feature the Inventory Plus. And Gary, do you remember the date of that? I'm trying to peek at it right there. I want to say I'm going to have to get up and block the screen here. But... I, meant to, I meant to get that before I sat down. August the 27th. Yeah. August the 27th, you're going to take a look at Zero and a look at Avalara, both uh, a little bit of an in-depth in our App Academy. And again, it's because they're linked through this new Inventory Plus product. So um, you can go out to the Insightful Accountant website and sign up for that App Academy. And really, that's kind of what I know, Gary. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to go back. One of the things you said that made me go... I need to ask you to expand on that. You said one of the things that you thought was, um, I don't know if you said exciting or interesting, but was the PDF right. import capability. Uh, Why is that? Well, a lot, of, uh, a lot of accounting apps have the ability to attach a PDF bank statement, but they don't actually extract the data. Okay. And this imports the PDF and immediately begins the extraction of the data and puts it in your bank feed center so that then you can either match it to existing transactions, categorize it. Of course, it'll use the bank rules for bank feeds. And then uh, it will also use some of the AI characteristics and then just post those right into your ledger. Okay, so, fantastic. Yep. Anything that we missed? Anything that... Um... Well, there are a few uh, vendors here that we haven't talked about, and hopefully we'll have some roundup about some of them. Um, some of them are associated with uh, 
zero for a long time and we just don't see them uh, because they don't really currently um, handle other ledgers. Right. But uh, most of them are in the process of migrating to other ledgers. And so. All right. Well, great. And that's, uh, you can find more information at uh, insightfulaccountant.com. Uh, this will be posted. You can either find it on the YouTube site, you might find it on our website, or your favorite uh, podcast channel, if you might will. link to it in some future articles, too. Yes, yeah. and link to it in some future articles. So, Murph, thank you. All Appreciate right. it. Thanks for the update. Mm -hmm.